Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. So as I'm filming this video, it is nighttime here. It's like 1 a.m. and the crickets are chirping. I have the windows open. So I hope that there's not any like crazy sound that picks up in the video in a negative way. Um, but I really wanted to have the windows open because it's just so relaxing to me. Um, but anyways, this video is going to be my part two. Um, I just couldn't wait to do my part two to my um, Makesy fragrance haul. Um, honestly, their fragrances really blew me away from part one. Um, the quality and the complexity uh, just blew me away. Uh, of course, I haven't made any of these into candles yet, but just smelling them out of the bottle was insane to me. And this is gonna be part two. So I actually purchased two of their 10 ounce fragrance um, discovery kits, self-discovery, where you can put 10 oils together. And these were all oils that you had suggested that I try uh, for the most part is what I ordered. And then I did choose some on my own too that I thought were just interesting. So just like part one, this is going to be an unboxing video of these 10 oils and I'm gonna be smelling them all for the first time and giving you my out of the bottle first impressions. And as I always say with my fragrance videos, um, there's always the chance that something that I really like, you might not like, and also the chance that something you really like, um, I might not like. And fragrance is just very subjective, um, but most of these are oils that you all suggested, so I'm super excited to be trying these out. Um, but anyways, if this is something that you're interested in, then I hope that you're subscribed, and I hope that you keep on watching. Okay, so I am gonna just break this seal here with the uh, little kitchen knife I am using. And um, they do have these really cute kits. Um, as I mentioned in the other video though, I think 10 milliliters is a very small size. Um, but I did actually look on their website and they do have two ounce bottles available as well. But these discovery kits are just available in the 10 milliliter size. Um, and it breaks down to, I wanna say like four, three or four dollars per oil. Um, so I guess it's not too bad of a deal considering that they are luxury. And so you're gonna be comparing these to companies like 1617 and Stone Candles in terms of their price points on things. Um, so I do feel like um, now that I kind of looked at all that um, and what 1617 charges for two ounce bottles and stone candles, um, I feel like they are pretty in line with that. And I do like their ideas um, for having these um, discounted self discovery kits. So um, let's check out this first one here. This is white sandalwood and smoke. And I think that this is one that I personally just thought was really interesting. Um, I do find that they put these little stoppers on here and it's very, very hard. Ooh, but I can kind of smell this one. Um, it's very hard to smell things with these stoppers on though in general. So I am gonna just take these, take the stopper out and toss it because you know, no one's really um, using these like, you know, one drop at a time um, that I know of. Okay, so this one is really interesting. Um, this reminds me of something that I have smelled before and I can't quite place it right now. Actually, I have some strips over here I'm just gonna use. Um, but this really reminds me of something I think by Stone Candles. It might be their, um, Gosh, is it, it's not Aurora Borealis. I think it's, I'm gonna put it on the screen, but it's something by Stone Candles and I don't actually have it though. Um, this is beautiful. Uh, it's, it's definitely like a sandalwood and smoke type of a fragrance. Um, not at all a smoke in your hair type of a scent. It's very blended. It has like some birch to it as well. Um, this kind of reminds me of Vanilla Birch by the Flaming Candle too or maybe they're birch and black pepper, but this is very, very, very light out of the bottle. And 
Also on the strip, which is, I mean, kind of typical for a really base heavy fragrance, but it is extremely light and I do find that kind of concerning. Um, but I will be testing out all these in either 464 Soy or in my Beeswax Soy and Cocoa Cream Wax Blend. I did buy Makesy's um, Wax like Explorer Kit where you get their best selling waxes, um, but I'm not gonna be testing any of their oils and those waxes, um, at least not for my initial hot throw test. Since um, I don't usually use their waxes, I want to test them in something that I'm really familiar with. Um, but yeah, I give this one like a 4 out of 10 for HT out of the bottle. Or HT. <laughs> for basically the throw out of the bottle, I would give it a 4 out of a 10. Um, and I would give this one probably a 9 out of 10 for me liking it. Next, I'm going to try... Oh, I'm so excited for this one too. Um, this is the Santal and Black Cardamom. And I did recently try the Black Cardamom and Cream by Candle Science, and I absolutely adore that fragrance. But the HT is not very strong in 464 Soy, and that disappointed me. Um, so I'm going to check this one out here. Oh, wow, yeah, this is very similar. And this also reminds me of, oh yeah, because it has Santal in it. Uh, this reminds me of a combination, um, I'm gonna take the little stopper off here, um, but this reminds me of a combination of the Le Labo Santal 33 with the Candle Science Cardamom, Black Cardamom and Cream, I think it's called. Um, yeah, this is really good. Um, there's definitely more Santal to this one. Um, there's more santal than there is black cardamom. In my opinion, I'm, there's a little bit of black cardamom. It's very light. Um, the fragrance overall is very, very, very light. Even lighter than the last one, which I already said was light. So that's really concerning. Like, I don't feel like this is gonna have any throw when it's smelling like this out of the bottle. So well, I don't know, maybe you could make this into a candle with paraffin and have a good result but uh, it's gorgeous, but there's like nothing there. Okay, next I'm gonna try Saffron and Tobacco. This scent, I believe, was recommended by one of you. Just pull the stopper off on here, if I can get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, hmm. Not sure how I feel about this scent. Um, it's definitely not off-putting to me in any way, um, but I don't feel like, um, hmm, okay. Maybe I take that half back. Uh, this reminds me kind of of um, Barnwood by Aztec, which I really, really, really liked, but it had phthalates in it. Uh, but this is really, really, really light, again, out of the bottle, and I just don't know what to say about that. Like, it's very concerning. I think Aztec has a lot of scents that are equally sophisticated to this, but the hot throw just isn't there. And, and that's kind of what I'm feeling with this one. Um, it's very concerning how light all three of these have been so far, but this is gorgeous. I mean, you get the tobacco, you get saffron, and you get this kind of woody, earthy quality to it, almost like it has like some Australian sandalwood and some cedar. Uh, very high-end and sophisticated, but I mean, I don't know how this is gonna throw. I'm not feeling very good about how this may throw. So next up, let's try this Rhubarb and Berry Cashmere. And this scent was definitely recommended by one of you, and I'm expecting something that has that cashmere accord to it, but also smells fruity and maybe a bit tart, even. Um, I can smell this one from here though, like I can smell something from here and I'm like a foot away from the oil, which is a good sign. Usually fruity fragrances are pretty prominent, so I'm hoping that it was just because those first three were kind of more base heavy. Oh yeah, okay. This one, um, <laughs> this one is really, really reminiscent to me of Bath and Body Works. Um, yeah, so if you've ever smelled um, Winter Candy Apple by Bath & Body Works, by the way, Aztec makes a spot on dupe for that one that does throw pretty well in 464 Soy. Um, this smells really, really similar to that, but blended with like rhubarb and maybe some berries. 
Um, I do like this scent. I do think that it's kind of immature. Um, I actually prefer the Winter Candy Apple Dupe by Aztec to this one, and it's a lot more affordable. Um, I like this. I just don't feel like it's worth what they're charging for it. Um, and I'm curious how it will throw. I have pretty good hopes for it throwing strongly in a candle. Um, but yeah, this Rhubarb and Berry Cashmere, I would give it a seven out of 10 for liking it, for uniqueness, um, maybe a five out of 10. And in terms of um, how I think it will throw, I have pretty high hopes. Next up, let's try, oh my God. Okay, I'm so excited for this one, the Natural Palo Santo and Sage. I need to wash my hands though, because I have the oil, um, the rhubarb and berry cashmere on my hands from pulling off that stopper. So let me just come right back here. Okay, I am back and I'm so, so, so excited for the scent. I have been looking for a true Palo Santo fragrance for a very, very, very long time. Um, Candle Sciences Palo Santo that they originally released, they ended up taking it back and they called it Saffron Cedarwood because it just didn't smell like Palo Santo. And I tried Palo Santo by Stone Candles, terrible oil, I would highly not recommend it. Um, and I've also tried um, Palo Santo and Cedar, I think it's called, um, or Palo Santo, Patchouli Palo Santo, I think it's called, um, by the Flaming Candle. I'll put the correct name up on the screen if that wasn't it. Um, and I do like that scent, but to me it's more of a mahogany antique wood. So I'm gonna check out this natural Palo Santo and I really have high hopes for it because Makesy is always advertising themselves as using essential oils all the time, high amounts of rare essential oils and Palo Santo definitely is that. Um, so let's see what this one is gonna do for us. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's definitely earthy. Okay, I'm definitely picking up um, the sage in this one. I don't know that I really get Palo Santo from it though. Um. Yeah, I would say that this one is very sage heavy, which is nice, it's beautiful. Um, and I'm getting more like pine notes and woody notes, but not woody Palo Santo notes. Um, so that definitely is a disappointment when they're calling this one natural Palo Santo. Um, and sage, I, I don't really pick up much of any Palo Santo in this one. Um, it's definitely strong out of the bottle. Okay, so next let's check out Maple chai and sweet cream. Okay, I'm very, very, very excited about this oil. Um, very excited about this oil. One of you recommended that I try this one and said that it's a really upscale, they put the cap on really tight too, holy cow. Um, you said that it's a really upscale type of a gourmand scent and I'm always looking for more of those. I personally really like the, um, what is it called? The chocolate um, and amber. I'll put the correct name up on the screen, but it's by Nature's Garden. So I'm hoping that this one is along the same lines. Oh, wow. Okay. This is really, really, really um, strong. I can smell this one without the stopper being off even, but I'm going to take it off just so I can put this one on a strip. Yeah, this is beautiful. But this to me, um, I wanna smell it on the strip here before I open my mouth any more about it. Um, yeah, this really reminds me of Pumpkin Souffle by Candle Science. And Pumpkin Souffle, I can get that oil for about probably a quarter, well maybe not a quarter. I can get it for at least half the cost of this. Um, I'm gonna get Pumpkin Souffle and I, want to compare them side by side here on the strips. So give me one second. Okay, so I've got my pumpkin souffle and I just really am curious. I do a side by side comparison on the strips, which one I like more. Guys, these are really, really, really similar. Um, strikingly similar this maple chai and sweet cream with the pumpkin souffle. Um, I'm gonna put a little more 
Yeah, these are really, 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 really similar. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're almost identical, personally, um, to me on the strips. Um, it's striking. Um, the maple chai and sweet cream is a little bit lighter, and I do get kind of more doughy bread notes, um, whereas the pumpkin souffle is a little bit more of a baked pumpkin type of a scent. They both have very, very, very similar spice notes with the clove and the cardamom and the cream and the chai type spices. Um, I would have to pass though on this maple chai and sweet cream just because of how similar it is to a fragrance that I know is a fraction of the cost and performs very well in um, natural waxes. So I will be making the uh, maple chai and sweet cream into a candle, but um, I am almost certain that I would pass on that one just because of how similar it is to something that I already know uh, does so well for me. Okay, next up, um, let's check out Ginger Wood and Palo Santo. So I'm kind of not having high hopes for this just because the natural Palo Santo to me just didn't really smell that good or like Palo Santo. Um, I mean, it didn't smell bad, but it definitely didn't meet the, um, meet the curve to being Palo Santo for me. Can you all hear the crickets outside? get this thing off here. Hmm. Okay, this one reminds me of um, a couple of fragrances actually um, that are much less expensive than this oil. Oops, just spilled it all over myself. Hang on a second, I spilled it all over my pants and hands. So give me one second here. Okay, I am back, and I also grabbed two oils that this one really, I think, reminds me of. So the first is Red Ginger Saffron, and the second one is Ginger and Spice, both by Candle Science, and both for a fraction of the cost of Mixi's Ginger Wood and Palo Santo. So I wanna check these out side by side, just to see, um, compare them all on the strips, um, just to see here. So this is Ginger and Spice. Um, by Candle Science. I always try to cap these if I can. Okay, no, not that one. Um, I think the red ginger saffron. I mean, they're, they have similar ginger notes, but definitely not the level of similarity I was thinking. But I wanna try this red ginger saffron because I think this is a good contender for a dupe at a fraction of the cost. Okay. Yeah, um, not, not as similar as I was thinking. Um, it's stronger though, the red ginger saffron, much stronger. Um, side by side, the ginger wood and palo santo is not quite as sweet. Um, but I wouldn't really consider the red ginger saffron to be a sweet fragrance. Um, but they do have a lot of notes in common. And for that reason, I would probably go for the red ginger saffron just because it's a fraction of the cost and you already get so many of the same notes. I mean, they're definitely sister fragrances. Yeah, I actually, I think the red ginger saffron is a little bit more sophisticated. Um, I get a lot of ginger essential oil notes in the Makesy, um, whereas the Candle Science has those notes, but they are kind of toned down. Um, they are kind of more well-rounded, um, I would say, with other notes. And um, yeah, so I would have to say um, that I would pass on this ginger wood and Palo Santo. I will still make it into a candle, but um, just because of how similar it is to something that is a fraction of the cost, I probably wouldn't purchase that oil. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try, oh, this one's so exciting, Dark Rose and Labdanum. This is probably Makesy's most 
popular scent of all time. I hear people just raving about this fragrance. And I already have Rose Petals by Candle Science, which to me is my favorite rose fragrance. It's so similar to the Rose Essential Oil, which is super expensive and not something you really wanna waste. And so it's great to have that fragrance oil. Um, it's so similar to the essential oil, but I just wanna see what this dark rose in labdanum is gonna do for us by Makesee. Okay, I'm already smelling something good. Pull this cap out here. Yeah, okay. I see what the hype is on this oil, guys. Uh, we need to get a new strip here. Open this little bag. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get a strip here. Um, this is really complex. Yeah, okay. Guys, this is really, really, really strikingly gorgeous and complex. Um, you get the labdanum and the dark rose. It's a sultry, sexy, just luxe, luxe, luxe fragrance. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm probably gonna go buy it. To be honest with you, I'm probably gonna go buy a 16 ounce bottle of this tonight without even making it into a candle just because with the way that this is throwing um, and how gorgeous this is, I'm absolutely obsessed and I'm not even a floral person. Um, yeah, this is, this dark rose and labdanum, this is like a midnight dusky floral. This is like, um, sort of like if you like the candle science, um, Black, black, Violet, and Saffron by Candle Science, if you like that fragrance. Um, this is kind of like that. Actually, I'm gonna go grab that one just so I can compare them side by side. Okay, so I'm back here with the Black, Violet, and Saffron. Just wanted to compare that one with the Dark Rose and Labdanum fragrance. Um, Compare them both on the strips here. I don't even know if you're able to see, but I'm like trying to get this one on a strip. Um, okay. Yeah, that is a beautiful fragrance, but it almost gives me a headache. Um, the Candle Science Black Violet and Saffron. I do have to mix it with a lot of things. I mix it with sandalwood, I want to say, and lavender. I will put my blend up in the description box that I use for my Nuit à Paris candle, my Parisian Nights. Um, but I just want to compare that oil without blending it with this dark rose and labdanum. So this is the dark rose and labdanum, which I wouldn't blend it with anything. Maybe a little bit of sandalwood, but it's, yeah. Um, they're both dusky florals. Uh, if you had to choose one, I would hands down go for this Dark Rose and Labdanum by Makesy over the Candle Science, Black Violet and Saffron. Um, but the Black Violet and Saffron is a fraction of the cost and you can blend it with a lot of things. Like you could blend that with some Rose Petals by Candle Science and maybe come up with something uh, kind of similar. Um, but yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, oil, this dark rose and labdanum. I definitely see what the hype is. Next up, I want to try this cedar and myrrh. Now, in the last video, I did try their frankincense and myrrh as well as their um, golden... I tried their natural gold, golden oud and myrrh as well as their frankincense and myrrh in the last video. And I did like both of those scents. Um, they weren't like completely inspired to me, like, but I did like the fragrances. Um, so I wanna check out the cedar and myrrh. If you all can't tell, I really like incense fragrances. I'm very drawn to a lot of the notes. Hmm, yeah, this is very similar. Um, I feel like they didn't do a whole lot different with this one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice. There's a lot of cedarwood essential oil on this, I can tell you that. Um, it's, it's very light. 
I mean, it, it's like cedar and myrrh essential oil. Um, it's beautiful. I love the natural aromas, but to me it's not very inspired and it's very light out of the bottle. And the last oil that I have um, to smell out of the bottle is probably the one I personally was most excited for. Um, this cashmere and vanilla. This is another one that I think is one of their more popular scents. I just love anything with cashmere. Um, I actually went ahead and brought up my cashmere cedar by the flaming candle because I had a suspicion that this cashmere and vanilla by Makesy was gonna be similar to um, to this cashmere cedar, but I haven't smelled it yet, so we're gonna check it out and see um, how this one compares. Can't really smell anything with this on here. Hmm. Very light. Maybe I'm just smelling the other scents on my hands. Put this one on a strip here. No, it's not really anything like the cashmere cedar, um, but I don't know that I like this actually. Um, it's, it's more perfumey in a way. Um, yeah, it's very light. It's almost like if you took cashmere by um, Nature's Garden, um, their cashmere type fragrance, um, and you mix that with some um, very light vanilla. Um, it's it's not offensive in any way. I do enjoy it, but for what they're charging and for, um, you know, <laughs> I just don't really quite see what the hype is on this one. I am gonna make it into a candle. I do really like this one, like don't get me wrong. I'm just wishing it were stronger. And maybe, um, well, the more I smell it, the more I'm enjoying it. Um, I just wish that this one were stronger out of the bottle. So. I think I would have to say, um, I'm gonna check this one again, this cashmere cedar by the flaming candle. Yeah, this is a nice scent, guys. I mean, this is a fraction of the cost. Um, if you're looking for a nice cashmere. But um, I definitely do like this. It's just, it's very, very, very light. Okay. So from this haul, I would have to say that my favorite one, hands down, is the Dark Rose and Labdenum. I mean, hands down. And next to that, I would say, if I had to do two more, um, I'd probably put this White Sandalwood and Smoke pretty high, as well as the Cashmere and Vanilla. Um, yeah, the rest of the scents I really liked, but some of them were very similar to less expensive scents from Candle Science and some of them just didn't really have a lot of throw at all out of the bottle, which is very concerning. I mean, <laughs> they're the most potent in form out of the bottle, but I will definitely try them all in candles and my opinions could definitely change. Uh, but anyways, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates from me. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please comment down below if you suggested any of these fragrances to me or if you have tried any of these fragrances in candles or if you know of any other fragrances that you think I need to check out because I'm always open to trying more oils. Um, of course, there is a limit to how much I can purchase budget-wise, but I'm always, always, always have them on my radar. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and for not minding the crickets that are chirping out Outside my window. I don't know how much of that you're going to be able to hear on the video, um, but peace, love, and light to all of you. And I hope that you all are having an absolutely beautiful week, and I'm wishing you happy candle making.